In this video, I'll be showing you how to use file archivers like WinRAR, 7-Zip to compress and uncompress your archives, or also this WobZip website, which is an online extractor, not compressor. First of all, an archive is a way of compressing things, either by taking a large file and splitting it into multiple pieces, which can be later reassembled into the larger file, or you can take a bunch of little files and make them into one. WinRAR is the leading one in the market now. It is available in 32-bit and 64-bit versions for Windows. I believe it's available for Mac, but I don't have one, so you could go Google search and test it yourself. If you download it from the official website, you may need to pay, but since I'm downloading from the CNET links, I'll put these in the description. I've been using my trial for over 40 days, and it's still fine. Another popular one is 7-Zip. It's open source and everything, available for multiple operating systems and Mac as well. Now just demonstrating WinRAR real quick. When you install WinRAR, you notice that these four options are added to your context menu. But if you notice with the 7-Zip, they're all in a subfolder. So if you would like that, just go open up WinRAR. And see when I open up WinRAR, my trial has expired, but just I click the X, it still works fine. Go to Options, Settings, Integration, and Cascade Context Menus is what you want. And then just say yes if you're on Windows 7. Close the program. Now WinRAR is in its own little folder. So to create an archive, I will split this picture, which is about 2 megabytes, into 1 megabyte chunks. Just say Add to Archive, and then you can name it here, a bunch of advanced settings, the two main things are the format and the split volume into bytes. The format is either RAR or ZIP, it doesn't really matter. And here, since I want this into one megabyte, I'll just type 1 MB. You can use KB for kilobyte, GB for gigabyte, and just press OK. It will split this into three parts. And I'll just move them into a new folder. And to extract any RAR, you just need to have all three parts downloaded in the same folder. Click on any one go to the WinRAR part, you could say extract files and it will ask you a specific part of your hard drive it wants to save or you could just say extract here which is what I'm gonna do and we have our picture to merge multiple files I'll just select them right click and go down to WinRAR add to archive again and I'll just leave this blank and it will create one RAR for all these files now when I extract it, I get all four files. That's the basics of WinRAR. There's many other things you can do onto 7-Zip. 7-Zip works pretty much the same way. You just go to the 7-Zip part on your files, and I'm going to add these to an archive. It will pop up with the default as .7z, which is okay if you have 7-zip installed on your computer, but if you're trying to use the online extractor, which I'll show you next, 7-zip, for some reason, I couldn't get to work, so pick one of these three. And split volume into bytes, if you want to split it into chunks, specify the size right here. Since I'm merging them, I will just leave the blank. And to extract, you just simply right click, go to the 7-zip. You can extract files and it will ask you where you want to save them, or you could just extract here, which is what I'm going to do. I will go to WobZip and extract this same archive with the online version. WobZip is only an extractor, but it does very well at what it does. You just go browse on your computer for the archive double click or click open then if you have a password with it you'd need to enter the password and then just click uncompress as I mentioned before I couldn't get dot 7 Z to work but they do have a list of all the formats supported and a maximum file size is 200 megabytes it will say that your file has completed now you have within your archive all the multiple files to download and you just click on them and they will ask you to download and I save it and I could do that with all of these that's basically how to extract things with WobZip using 7-Zip and WinRAR to compress them